Horizon Zero Dawn tonight. Um, all right, let's just jump right into it, I guess, huh? Loading, loading, loading. All right. So let's figure out where we were last time, huh? any other additional like side quests or anything so I guess it's time to go do what I'm supposed to do All right. Lots of running in this game. <laughs> no wonder she's so strong. She gets a lot of exercise. Back to the trail here. It's magic how it stops running. Louder than I expected. I've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. 
It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you Never find me. This. This is goodbye. Well, that's rough, dude. I see. I'm glad to have this then. It will remind me of you. Of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Thank you. Heavier than it looks, but the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proving. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? <laughs> Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? <laughs> They're really good. Hello. It's better than the time.
It's you, isn't it? Over here. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Oh. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Oh, well, that's nice, bro. Wait, Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. It's yours. Oops. Sorry, dude. I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's should she just like change her clothes right there in front of him? That's kind of weird. Than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the matriarch's lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys. We all know that she de look good yes, in whatever she wears. About. Karja visiting our sacred land for the sure first thing. time. Sure thing. You got it. <laughs> I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. People at least look like they know how to have a good time, huh? No, the Norris is the same as like now, normal people. Oh, that's just Follow what you Jesus. want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. Work. What I want is for my feet is. <laughs> every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. <laughs> Listen carefully so now. Up, she can't see but me. you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. In the beginning. Ooh, all story time. came from all my machines and beasts all were her children they lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace but some grew restless though they took of her bounty they wanted more these were the faithless the machines had whispered to them promised to serve them to make them a new world better than the one all mother provided a world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. 
feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. Then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of All Mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not behaved. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These all dies are mistake. Jesus, try to scare the poor kids. Good lord. Listen carefully now. I mean, you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Inviting in the beginning card. All life came from all my people, machines, beasts. Aloy. Over here. Oh, someone looks familiar. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. <laughs> Such a good salesman. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can sell. Can't sell my outfit.
Always happy to take your shards. I'm pretty sure I took more from you, bro. <laughs> I'll give you my best prices, I promise. I think I got everything I can. Let's see if I can sell any of this other stuff. I don't think so. All right. Until next time. Next time, you'll be a brave. All right, let's head on up here to the lodge. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Avon. Killers and the slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your Luminance. fruit, nor if, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azuram, not Karja, so I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. <laughs> he was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> the message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Instead of throwing tomatoes at him, like a bad internet Can joke. <laughs> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th Luminance of the Radiant Line. People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest trees, as those you have nurtured I'm a take their places among your focus. grave. Just like mine. We join your prayers. That they will stand. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. 
You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. Might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. Isn't she like legit a teenager? That's kind of gross, bro. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So, what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Who are the Asaram? Well, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. You know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian subtle, and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh... Direct. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. 
Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it when a hunter, right. so it was hard to take the death. Now, a few more, if that wasn't bad. Like the sawtooth. Yeah. So what's making uh, no one. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Look, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. But you really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. <laughs> well, he scours the wilds <laughs> for rooms, digs up stuff, <laughs> and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounged, I... All right, all right, all right. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Maybe, you creep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where am I going? I am Matriarch, too. Are in place. Oh. oh! Expecting more tomatoes? Uh, in truth, I, I thought they were th throwing stones. Stones <laughs> hit a lot harder. You'd know the difference. If you wish to speak, we should do so after the ceremony. I'd rather not hold things up or do anything else that angers these people. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light it's flame. Takes flight. 
A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. All right. I have some questions for him. Last, last, last. Goddess, it's you. You're uh, taller, of course. <clears throat> Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this Are those lanterns for the lost princess? Crowds. <laughs> Maybe I should just turn it. Stop dodging my questions. <laughs> Maybe. Right, cool your fire. I'm worried about the I poor kids that don't have hide. a mother. Like, what if they died? They don't have a lantern? Like, she got one because the old lady was nice to her, but what about the other kids? I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've dealt yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then? I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> what are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's got to make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Oh, douche, can I don't you? understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> All right, we're done. This girl, her sister. Magic. Well, well. Perhaps I won't be an outcast much longer, eh? I've been up since early morning. Please, not that. All right, bro. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Rude. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. 
Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Well, that guy's an asshole. We saw you talking to the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Are you gonna let Boss talk to you that way? I wouldn't. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Wow, bro. You need to get punched Aww, in the face. You even try to dress I found like Jonathan Taylor girl. Thomas. Not that <gasps> fools anyone. Don't you dare, so Desi. This is how it's gonna be with you, is JTT it? is sacred. This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> LOL. I've trained all my life. <laughs> You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body. Wait, is that Tom of, Sawyer? But down deep, you're still a scrawny little <laughs> brat. You know, I often think of I the think day I go. gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll huh? be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. You know they're a douchebag when they speak in the third person. Like you're totes a douchebag if you speak in the third person. Just Take FYI. Boss. You and I have nothing to say to each other. Take it up with a shithead. If you have a problem. Yeah, he's a pretty big shithead. Nice Damn. job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Motiva. Now, Eat if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some <laughs> sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Alright. He's dead. Can't talk to him. Boss won't leave her alone. Alright, fine. I guess I'll go to bed. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. <laughs> it has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a but, place... But, Mom. I do. I'm not even tired. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Especially with all the partying outside, like... Shut up and let the poor kids sleep. They got shit to do tomorrow. I hate it when it's snowing in video games. It always makes me feel colder. Especially when they're like, they're in short sleeves. Like, the wind is blowing, your fucking ears would be falling off. It's cold as shit. Pray! 
Apes, ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Playing Skyrim is torture. Looks, Looks like, like a oh, I bet. You got it, I think. No oh, one is dressed for the circumstance, like one. Season's greetings from Rudolph and the gang. Feelings. I think I did. I think it killed me. <laughs> I can't use my little spear thing. I don't get it. I guess maybe I'm not allowed to. Boobs. Yep. I don't think you proved anything to the Lost Boys by dying. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the. Thanks for the help. This is for goddamn ridiculous. Must be a bow and arrow kind of challenge. She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh now, that's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Two died on it. Jeez. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? She get there faster if you shut up. Yeah, right. If she just talked to her for half. He just talked to her for half. Doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. No way, but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. Keep the lead. I can't see. Boss, the follow that Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Which way do I go? I've gotta keep going. The outcast. Actually, when I did this the first time, I hacked through Good. them grazer. Maybe that has been made impossible since I the think update 142. Up. 
How'd she get up oh, there? Maybe. talking to herself. Like, that must be something that people who spend a lot of time alone do. Got it to someone or you go crazy, right? I guess so. Makes sense. Come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. Run, girl, run! Yeah, yeah. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast? Win the proving? Never! <gasps> what? For she is a brave now. Well, yeah, that's right. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. Bitch. But it is a Thank God for all these conveniently <laughs> placed outcast. trees. How did anyone else get to this place before the trees fell? Oops, spoke too soon. What? Oh, that's a bad day. What the hell? Keep them pinned down till the others arrive. What the? We can't stay here. That's the way out. We won't make it under fire. They can't shoot if they're dead. Keep them busy. I'll find an angle. Fast! Fast! Are you with us? I'm with you! Let's go! Oh yeah. Now, now you need them. Because you're a little wimpy loser. Ah! Uh, okay. Too many of them! Feel the wrath of Skeletor's breakfast burrito. It's a flesh armor. wound. Kill them all. No witnesses, no survivors. All right, psychopath. For Here all mothers. Oh no, there's more. Yeah, there is. They keep coming. How many are there? Why can I not do some thank you? That's what I'm talking about. Why will it not let me use my spear? Thank you. I'm starting to get pissed off. Too many of them! Don't 
understand. Normally I just hit that button and the spear comes out. We can't help him! Oh, mother, help us! Kill them! Stop killing them. Watch out! There's more of them! Kill the defilers! They're too strong! We can't stop them! Stop putting holes in my friends. Too many of them! We can't win! Oh man! I'm not very good at this aiming thing, clearly. Did you bring me home yummies? How many are there? Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! But they're How being many nice. There? They plug them up in the same dough. I think my husband went out to dinner and did not bring me anything that was just home to eat, which means he's gonna die, so... Just FYI. Oh, he was faking me out. He brought me yummy. Ooh, shot that guy in the head. Bye, mother! Too many of them! Lost it! Can't hold them! Oh, mother, help us! Fast, you are a wussy pants baby man, just FYI. Now, descend while we have a chance. What the? Say hello to Uncle Otto Cannon. I have no freaking ammo. This is not good. Oh, I'm gonna die. Now I can use it? When I try to pick up a gun? shouldn't be up here looting while everybody died, but hey, better do it while I can. I love that there are like random supply crates up here. Like what was happening that there's supply crates all over? I'm pretty sure all that murdery business wasn't supposed to happen, so... Itches.
here. I don't want to loot him yet. I can't spare the weight. What? Alright, I think I got everything that I can use anyway. So good. Burn it all, then to your task. As you command. Well, that's crappy. so mad. Configure <gasps> there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. How long has she been there? I don't see a cut on her neck. I have to get out of here. I need my focus. No. Save me. They must. 
must have found me before I bled out. Something tells me there's not going to be a save point in Why here. There's no one here. <laughs> Where am I? Where's my stuff? I want my stuff back. Where's my focus? It's here. Okay. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus, the one I took off that... Where are they? I should keep looking. I'm picking up some kind of signal. like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The more I didn't build this place, the old ones did. But why? It must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. It's club there. With the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Target imaging. Who says I'm like other Nora? You are awake. <laughs> you Don't kill me the old lady. Quickly. You must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. What are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Texas. <laughs> it just kind of look like Texas or like Louisiana or something with all like the kind of voodoo-y looking Why stuff. Did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lanzar fought it, of course, but genocided with me. Is 
my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Why do they always say it's complicated? It's not that complicated. Explain it to me. Okay? Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. Words are hard, bro. Um, <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Come. I'm not with Jane's birth, lady. Need to break it to her. What is this place? The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... It's not exactly Everything. easy to explain something if you don't understand this it to begin is with. Where we found you. Touche. That's we a good heard point. your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Mother? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks just like the one I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. spoke to you as if she knew you were you not listening it didn't recognize me because of corruption the goddess's own words surely if you heal this corruption she will see you clearly and how would I do that you said you've had visions of a woman with short hair the killers came for me because I look like her but their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Um, he was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Born out in exile too. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said Alrighty. the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? 
Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your this plan? This lady's got it this, going on. She knows it. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. <laughs> it is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy, told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Biatch? Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. No pressure. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight, lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But She's ambushed, about to go on a journey that most Seekers don't return lie. from, and the lady says, and I'll tell you another know. time. You WTF? <laughs> no. Yeah, right. But you could That's ask like, Varl, I'll tell you when you're older. One of the braves uh, guarding okay. the gates of the embrace. <laughs> he survived the ambush. He would know more. 
Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. Alrighty. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. I can barely think. I'm too nervous to talk to you. The outcast girl. So she survived her wound. Goddess, please. We are your faithful children. Isn't that the girl whose brother I helped? Pretty sure it is. Or at least it looks like it. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Yeah, and you bitches wouldn't even talk to me up to ten minutes ago. There's no way to save this game, is there? Outside of a thing. It's getting late. I need to go to bed. Get me a campfire game. Of course, there's a big gigantic the campfire in the middle here, but so it's not lit. Which means I'm probably gonna have to do something here before I can get outside. Uh, the outcast Aloy! Yeah. Aloy! Continue to report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace. Uh, Aloy! Dark metal that corrupts Aloy! every machine touches. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bost and Vala. Man, whoever the barber I is lost. for these people the is a boss. Raised me. Right? Their hair is all he, pretty awesome. He fought to save me and he died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him, but I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. <laughs> Probably shard blades in a dim lit cave. Way. He's the new war chief. <laughs> I'm not sure he'll help you. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them, but the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. 
which makes it even more impressive. Dot dot put me down for two. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. I love her badass mohawk braid thing going on. That'd be a pretty sweet hairdo. Looks like a lot of work though. He says mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing. Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran I bet it does her. a good job of keeping all that hair out of her yeah. face. Was Vala her daughter? Yeah. Yes. Was... I think you can lit fires yourself. Just try it to make sure. So did I. What are you doing here with a bow and spear? Oh, the one in the middle? You're a I'll stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so... I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I should be on my way, Tev. May all mother go with you. Alright, so I should be able to light fires by myself, huh? Can't light that big one. What about this one? No luck. Like, is it something I should be able to just do, or is it something I have to have an actual fire pit to do? Is this the same All Mother from Avatar? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah, there's definitely going to be like a big gigantic fight scene, huh? Collecting medicine, collecting wood for arrows, great. I just want to go to bed, video game. Let me save. Did you put my food in the fridge? Thank you. I was inside all hey, of us, lol. Like a sawtooth. <laughs> God, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. All right. I can feel Something the is gonna suck here, and I'm probably gonna die a lot. So just FYI, I guess. I might want to just go to bed now. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? There's one outside. You can not see the symbol through the gate. Oh, no. You can do it. You back to health Be the pan Peter. Mountain? <laughs> <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. Punch him in the so face. Heartless. I really would I like to. I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Wow, you piece Silence. of shit, bro. I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. I bet he and that so other salty the chick are an item. On my way. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? Exactly. You can't just get out there to the campfire. I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of dummies before that happens. I just want to eat my mac and cheese and go to bed video game. That's all I want. The demon. Hmm? Nothing Tell much, just a corruptor. Or one big one. Is nothing much just a corruptor kind of like, oh, don't worry, it's What's not that scary. Taking control. Oh, 
Brace yourself! Great, the new scorpion machine is coming into the What have you brought us now? Out of this curse? Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! Don't stay up there, you idiot. Ready yourselves! Today we fight a curse! A demon! It is, but it won't be the biggest machine you'll meet, but like River Song would say, spoilers. I Someone hope something me. eats the asshole's face. I don't understand why I cannot use the the spear. Like I hit the button, and it doesn't work. That's really frustrating. Me.
Sure that was a bit intense. A little bit. Well That's done. Stressful. Thank you. Looks Not like for sure I was gonna die. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Resh says. <laughs> Thank well, you, Resh is a dick, though. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done! God, what a bossy asshole. Need them soon enough. Was, but thanks for helping us take it down. You are welcome. I hope to see you again someday. What will it take to get time. you out of here? You're a dick, bro. Save my game. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. All right. I think that this save is gonna be it, guys. I'm gonna. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it though. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and chatting. It always makes it more fun when there's actually people to talk to. But um, hopefully we can uh, chat the during the next game. Um, I think that there's a pre-recorded episode going on uh, tomorrow. Have a and beautiful then, time. <laughs> and then there is a um, next week I think there's a bunch of people taking time off just because Monday is Christmas and stuff but there might be some people to play with in there I'm not really sure uh, I am sure that Rob will keep us all updated online about that and stuff but again thank you guys for watching I really appreciate it and have a good night bye bye <laughs>